In this video, we're gonna learn how to retouch and clean up the sclera or the white of the eyes in Photoshop. So the white of the eyes can be divided into two things, specifically the things we want to remove. The color, which is usually red uh, in case you're a human, and then the veins. So we'll go the same procedure. First, we'll look after the color and then, if required, the veins. So we'll try to be as non-destructive as possible. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So here we are in Photoshop and before we begin, a very very big thank you to Jim Smith from James for Photography for submitting this photo. And guess what, I want you to meet someone. Meet Amanda. She is a lawyer which explains why she has a lot of reds in her eyes. Now which by the way is a good sign. As a lawyer she reads up a lot. But unfortunately it might not be a good sign when it comes to portrait photography. So let's give Amanda what she deserves. A nice eye. All right. So the first thing that you need to do, always make a copy of the background layer. Controller command J. All right. Now, let's take care of the color of the eyes. To take care of the color, the best tool to take care of color in Photoshop is what? Selective color adjustment layer. So all right. So let's add selective color adjustment layer. Click on this gray white icon and circle and select selective color, the last one last adjustment layer. Now, now how does this work? So let me just quickly just uh, show you how it works actually first and then we'll move on to editing the eyes. So let's add a new layer just showing you don't have to do it just showing and if I just let's close up and if I just take a brush and maybe let's draw different patches of color here yellow. All right. Now, I know this looks like somebody just splashed, maybe a kid, but you get the idea. So just double click on this, the properties of selective color. Now, these are nothing but targets. So if I choose reds, nothing happens. It just locks into the reds in the image, okay? The reds, we have yellows, we have greens. These are just targets for locking in, okay? So if I choose reds and if I edit this sliders, then the changes will occur in which area? in the areas with red color, okay? So if I make sure absolute is checked instead of relative, absolute is checked. And if you increase the seance, now cyan is the opposite of red. If you increase the seance, it takes away the reds, watch. It becomes gray. If you decrease the seance, it increases the reds of the reds because since it's already red, it's, it makes no sense. Now, you can increase, sorry for the mobile message, you can increase the magenta or decrease the magenta of the reds. So you can do the same with the yellow, you can do the same with the black. And now you pretty much have the idea of what it actually is. Now to reset any adjustment layer, you get this little icon right here. Click on it, it resets it. Now let's go ahead and choose, say, yellows. And it will change the yellows. If you want to increase more yellows and yellows, you can. Decrease, there you go, it becomes gray, right? So you pretty much basically have the idea of how actually it works. Now if we use the same thing to remove just the colors, just the colors that we don't want in the white of the eyes, which is except anything other than white. So we can usually use this, right? So let's go ahead and try it. So let's go ahead and throw this childish drawing away. So let's close it and let's just throw it away. All right. Now let's turn on this layer and this layer. Okay. So now let's zoom into the eyes and let's open up the properties of selective color. So to open up the properties of any adjustment layer, just click on that icon, which is unique to that adjustment layer. Let's bring it to the side and we'll have a better look at it. We have a big brush. All right, so let's make it a little bigger. So we want to get rid of this color. Now it might take a little time and practice to get used to this adjustment layer, but guess what? The way I used to use it when I just started with this adjustment layer, it's really cool and always works. So let me show you that way. So we need to take care of the reds, right? It's not exactly reds. It takes time to figure out what color it exactly is. So let's go to the reds and let's do one thing. Take it all the way to the right, left. Does it help? Does it hurt? It hurts. Take it all the way to the right. Does it help? Does it hurt? It helps, right? It takes away all the reds, right? So now we know we have to take it to the right. So let's take it a little bit to the right. Wow, this is great. Now, magenta, take it all the way to the left. Does it help? Does it hurt? Right. Does it help? Does it hurt? So left helps. So a little bit to the left. Done. Yellow. Help or hurts? Help or hurts. So this side helps a little bit, I guess. All right. All right. Now, black. Help or Helps or hurts? helps or hurts. So black to the left, a little bit, till all the veins on the reds goes away. 
all right i love this now increase it to the right just a little bit and you're pretty much done let's move on to the other colors which are closer to reds okay so yellow let's try yellows seance all the way to the right helper hurts helper hurts to the right helps magenta helps or hurts helps or hurts a little bit to the left yellow helps or hurts hurts to the left black to the left so that way you do it right in the beginning that's the only way to do it later you begin to understand how it exactly works by experience and practice all right so now let's move on greens eyes don't have greens anyway unless you're a human again so uh, shrek maybe so let's move on to maybe magentas yep so to the right to the left doesn't make any changes right so doesn't have any changes let's try the last one which is the blues so doesn't make any changes okay all right so once you're satisfied close this now as you can see it has affected everything apart from eyes and we, d we didn't want that to happen right it has affected her face and maybe made her like a zombie but we don't we didn't want that to happen so we will hide that behind a mask so make sure you select the mask of the selective color and control a command i it inverts the mask now here's the thing you cannot create an inverse mask with an adjustment layer straight away when you create it because it already comes free with a mask so take the brush and make sure the foreground color is white and decrease the flow to somewhere around maybe 30 40 20 i usually go with 20 it gives me an extra space to be more smooth and more able to paint again and again and have exactly what i want so let's take the brush and make it a little smaller and start painting over the red areas with white okay so the start painting have a look it looks so nice now make the brush a little softer all right and just start painting over this area have a look isn't this amazing don't go all the way to the edge because we don't want to take reds away from here because uh, that will take the naturality if that's a word away from the eyes all right let's look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after so much of it is gone have a look before after now this is amanda just after reading a lot of books and this is amanda just after uh, maybe waking up all right so here all right of right have a look before after it looks so great so we went a little overboard here you can paint in black if you spilled it okay press x press x to toggle between white and black okay the foreground and the background color now we are pretty much satisfied you can paint even more if you want here since the flow since the flow was a little low all right now the white of the eyes look nice natural and good but here's the thing we still have the veins so if you want to retain the natural nature of the white of the eyes, you can stop here. It looks good. Have a look before, after it looks natural. But if you want to take care of the veins, if your image has a lot of veins, then proceed. So all you have to do to remove veins is to select layer one, which is the copy of the background layer. All right. So let's zoom in and just select the clone stamp tool okay select the clone stamp tool make sure the blend mode is lightened i know what you're thinking but this is not going to be that kind of cloning this is different this is a little advanced so make sure the flow is around 20 blend mode is lightened clone stamp tool selected and let's zoom in and see the magic so let's take a sample from this area and just simply paint over the wings it's gone now the magic of light and blend mode i use the same in shaving in photoshop if you have not checked out the video check it out right here is that it only lightens certain areas now what this means is it will only paint over that area if that area is darker than the sampled area make sense no so for example if i take a sample from this dark area and try to paint here it will not paint why because this area is already light so that helps us in just painting over those veins right so let's zoom in and just paint over these veins so take a sample from here and since the flow is very low and the brush is soft it's going to look very very natural right let's take a sample from here and let's paint around here have a look we went a little overboard all right now this is great now let's take care of the big ones don't remove all the veins it's gonna look unnatural okay so don't remove all the veins and now here's another tip if you have the choice of sampling from a darker area and a brighter area always sample from a darker area that way you don't extra lighten a particular area so if you had the choice of sampling from here and here you should sample from here because if you had sampled from here and if you painted accidentally you lighten this area which you didn't supposed to do all right you were not supposed to do so take a sample from the dark area 
it will only remove the veins it will not accidentally lighten an area all right so let's remove the veins taking the sample slowly and just remove the veins there we go now it's looking really good let's look at the before and after so this is the before this is the after we have removed that big veins now if big vein little vein anyway so if you <laughs> If you have to remove all these things, you can, but I suggest that you don't because what that will do is it will make your eyes unnatural. So let's have a look of the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Now Amanda has got some perfect eyes. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick recap. First, take care of the color, then take care of the veins. Now only take care of the veins if required because when you do take care of the veins, you play with the details, you play with the pixels right you exchange pixels so only take care of colors if possible and if you want to remove the ven veins veins go forward so i hope you enjoyed it i hope this was helpful and if this was make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe click on that bell button so that you don't miss any other future tips and tricks and tutorials so many ends so i'll see you in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating Falling for nobody else but you You caught my eye And I've got a feeling I'm falling Show me the ring and I'll jump right through